All right, uh, Paul Wooten here, WRF Customs. Gonna be another What's Inside My Diecast episode. Um, a couple older models. Here's one that, um, it's already, I don't have one, uh, loose that I haven't drilled apart yet. But here is the Balloon Delivery. Um, this was a mail-in version, um, metal base, metal fenders, metal body. Um, it's been stripped. The uh, the body just has one post in it, and it's real easy to misdrill that, and um, kind of makes it a pain in the butt. But um, it's got a windshield in it. Just a one wind shield. This makes the body. And this actually can be drilled apart also. Um, this fender, black fender part right here can come off. I didn't disconnect it. There's one last little rivet in there. But I chose to leave it together on this particular model. And, um... What's kind of weird is in the back, if you look, I don't know if you've ever taken very many older Matchbox apart, but Matchbox used to have this, um, this little, this little thing right here to hold the wheels in. And, um, you just undo that little spring and then that axle will come loose. But that is the blown delivery um, taken apart. This was um, first released in 2010. Hard to believe it's been that long. Um, next is a what's inside my um, diecast is a older Ford Transit. Uh, they've come out with a new Transit since then. But, um, you know, pretty pretty much, you know, you can peek inside there through the camera and you see some neat things in there. I'll show you in a minute. So, the way this one comes apart, well, not very easily. So, you have a, um, the uh, front lights, oops, the front lights are uh, part of the windshield and the window in the back once again i've used these for when i do customs for like corporate um businesses and stuff heating and air condition plumbing companies supply houses um corporate giveaways i've done hundreds of this particular van this one's actually got a factory tampo on it from matchbox which some of these you can get away with uh, just removing the tampo with acetone and kind of saving on paint since it's already white. But this is the part that everybody likes to see. So we in here, it looks like we have a bunch of boxes and some other packages. Let's see if we can turn it this direction. And let it focus there. That is a um, two-wheeler laying there. And yes, let me see if I can take it out of the picture a minute. Let it refocus and bring it back. That is a little dog. Anyway, there it goes. But anyway, that's a little dog in the background laying there in the back. So that's kind of weird in a delivery van. Somebody is either uh, shipping their dog away, one snuck in when they deliver the packages to their house or something. All right, here's number three. This is a Ford F100 panel matchbox. And it says Farmer's Market on the side of it, which is a pretty good model. And 
it's more of an orange this camera is not really picking it up as an orange but um anyway it comes apart and once again the uh, wheels are just fall off on most matchbox of course it's got a windshield tinted windshield and then this is a pretty cool um, panel that can be um, put corporate logos and what have you on that I had at one time I, I let him go to a buddy of mine he he was able to sell them but at one time I think I had about 150 of these in a box where I had some customers that were wanting them and then they just I needed some money at the time so I got rid of the majority of them so now we're gonna um look inside the the back of this dude Right, what it looks like is there's a box with a, um, a bunch of packing peanuts of some sort. And then we have another animal. Um, let me look at it real close. Looks like a um, possibly a dog. So anyway, that's that's a different shot on doing this. I may there we go. But um, that's uh, what's inside my diecast today. Um, something different. Um, and we'll see what the net what I can come up with next time. I'll probably mix it up between some Hot Wheels and um, some uh, Matchbox. Matchbox seems to do more creative um, interiors. And what's really weird is, you know, you really can't see inside these things. So, I mean, somebody just sits there and designs this stuff. And then, you know, they make it out of plastic and roll with it. But, uh, once again, thanks for checking this out.